Welcome to the Play Sim Golf Channel, where I review indoor golf equipment. Today we're taking a look at the Fiberbuilt 4x7 Grass Series Studio Hitting Mat. This is actually my four year update. Let's get to it. So I built my simulator back in January of 2020. That's almost four years ago now. And this is the first and only hitting mat we've used since its inception. And it's the Fiberbuilt Grass Series uh, 4x7 Studio Mat. So quick look of what it actually is. You see it's a bristle-based mat. It's about, the bristles are about three quarters of the size of a golf ball. So when I was looking for my mat originally, the things that were important to me first were that it was gonna be injury-free and that's the reputation that this mat was known for then and i can say after four years that has held true completely so the main thing about this four-year review for you guys is to kind of see the durability we played thousands of rounds on this hitting mat and this is exactly what it looks like and what it plays like today so i'll hit a few shots i'll hit a few putts and show you guys how it is um, today after four years of very regular use. The other thing that was important, but not as important to be completely honest, was the realism. Sure, I wanted to hit, you know, realistically, but the truth is, is that conditions outside are different at every course and every fairway and every rough. And I would say this hits off similar to a fairway in most, most courses that I've played. Sure, the lie is always perfect, you're inside, uh, but if you hit it fat here, the ball definitely goes shorter, and it does, you know, hold your club in a little bit. However, you can hit down through the ball and take a divot, uh, and you can see the hitting mat holds up great. These are have a 300,000 shot guarantee, so I don't know how many shots we've hit on here, but I'm guessing it's not quite 300,000 because this mat still is in prime condition have no intent of replacing it anytime soon. And one of the guys who plays over here is uh, hits a driver off the deck and he hits 160 plus ball speed. And even with that kind of wear and tear, uh, the, this is what the mat looks like. There's no major indent spots that would mess up putts, for example. I'm not saying the putt rolls 100% true like it would on the greens of Augusta. However, it rolls just fine. Truth about putting for simulator golf is, is that the putting has surprisingly improved my improved in real golf for me based off distance control. I walk off every putt and say, all right, how far would I hit that in the simulator? Works for me, so your mileage may vary. But if you're looking for a mat that's gonna last you a long time and hold up and keep you injury free, then you should strongly take a look at this fiber built mat. At the time of this video, they are around $1,150 at most locations. <clears throat> That's probably what you're going to pay wherever you go to get it. So if you are on the fence, uh, hopefully this four-year review and update will help you decide if this could be the correct mat for you. I've got a six-month review that I had uh, when I first got the mat that goes over more of everything about the... Uh, whole setup if you want to check that out feel free it's on the play sim golf channel or you guys can go to my website on the green golf and you can see reviews of everything that i have here in my simulator and the entire build all right guys well i hope you have enjoyed this quick review and update of the fiber built 4x7 grass series studio hitting mat if you enjoyed this one please consider subscribing to the channel all right, guys, I'll see you on the green.